Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer and this reading here is for Aries. Welcome Aries, I'm using two cards from the Moon and Stars Tarot and the card number one is Two of Wands and uh, Two of Wands is about risk taking new ways and connections and the meaning of the card is planning this is a card of planning and preparation for new ventures you will have to decide between two propositions so do not settle for what is comfortable and follow your heart and step out of your comfort zone to gain fulfillment this card is asking you to understand your situation better by educating yourself before making this decision this could be within work creative projects relationships or travel that too also recognizes the union of two kindred spirits the star message is that a union offers you new possibilities. Card number two is the world. And the world is about karma, education, opportunities, celebration, clarity and freedom. A small earth representing joy and the need for education sits in the center of the card and also on the full moon the moon feeds the earth with its magical energy of karma clarity and celebration and the symbols of the elements air water fire and earth appear around the moon as a sign of the ever-changing world and how everything comes into balance even the elements the meaning of the card is completion this card signifies the completion of your work and rewards are due to you for your efforts the world has wrapped up all of the karma of past events and brings it to an ending with success you will enter into a new phase of your life journey with new and exciting opportunities coming your way. The card is associated with freedom, celebration, clarity and spiritual growth within work, relationships and home life. Star message is enjoy your achievements and rewards and look ahead to your next goal because it is time for new and exciting beginnings. Moon magic affirmation is that your cycle is now complete. Take pride in and am thankful for what you have achieved. Next card is Wisdom of the Oracle card and out came message in a bottle. And the meaning of the card is communication, a sign, a cleden, which is the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. The oracle's message is that spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe, you will receive them. And also when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles and omens. They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, or a song in the radio. 
Expect confirmation that you are walking in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your question. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. There is a relationship message. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, a phone call or an email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. There is a prosperity message. You are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you are on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity or a message from an old friend or business contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. There is also a protection message. Are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. So do not ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interests at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking. Now we come to the Starseed Oracle card and the card is Wait and says it is not yet time, things are being woven. In our fast, loud, reactive, comparative world, where an instant response is so often expected and at times even a currency, it can feel almost impossible to take a breath, let alone give ourselves the space to rest, to wait and to reset. We are so often in overdrive, expecting instantaneous results over and over again. And when guidance doesn't come at these extreme speeds, it can feel as though something is gone wrong. But often not receiving guidance is guidance in itself. When you ask for guidance and you do not receive it, it can often mean to wait and that it is not yet time. The details, they need to be woven. Our challenge is to keep trusting when on the surface it appears that nothing is happening. To remember that no matter how long or bitter the winter spring does always come. To remember that you do not need to solve all of the world's problems in a single day and that perhaps they will be better solved with some perspective and a good night's sleep. The card is your permission to slip, to slow down, to switch off and to rest. You are being reminded to have patience and to trust the mystery of life, to trust that things are being woven on your behalf. It may not be happening to the timeline that you would like, but if you gather up the patience, it will be orchestrated better than you can ever imagine. Ask this starseed soul inquiry, how can you slow down 
be more patient and wait. The fairy oracle card is look in a book. Whatever you question right now, you will find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight that you seek. The fairies are saying that the guidance you seek is contained within a book. So look around right now and pick up the first book you see. Hold the book against your heart and say, Fairies, turn the pages in this book for me and guide my fingers to the words I need to see. That's cute. Now close your eyes and randomly flick through the book, allowing your finger to come to rest somewhere on a page. Read the words and see if they resonate with you. If your finger lands on a picture, try again until it lands on a text. This reminds me of my childhood. We did games like that. It's cute. If the words immediately seem relevant, take them on board. And if they do not, write them down and sit with them for a day or two. Be patient and their meaning will come to you. You can also ask for the meaning of the words to be revealed in your dreams. Before you go to sleep, write the words on a piece of paper and place it under your pillow, saying, Fairies, these words I place beneath my head reveal the meaning while I lie in my bed. In the morning, write down any dreams you can remember. Then be patient as the wisdom from your words filters through into your waking reality. The card may also be a reminder that reading a book would be good for you right now. If there is one you have been meaning to read for years, now is the time to do it. The fairies may also be saying that a book could prove a valuable gift for someone else as it may open their mind to other ways of being and the last card is mystical shaman oracle card and the card is the holy mountain and the essence here is that the native peoples around the earth recognize mountains as places of great power where one encounters spirit or where the gods or goddesses reside. In ancient Greece, Mount Olympus was the home of the 12 main gods and goddesses. And in Tibet, the pilgrims circumambulate Mount Kalesh to bring prosperity. In Peru, Pilgrims climb the ice capped Mount Aosangate to receive the starlight and bring fire to the earth. The invitation here is that the holy mountain invites you to go on a sacred pilgrimage to acquire vision and perspective. First, you must accept the present situation as an opportunity to discover higher understanding. Find a sacred altar where others who came before you have prayed and found wisdom and make your offering there. Make a commitment to walk with courage, love and compassion until you see with clarity the perfection of all. There is medicine to the card. When the holy mountain shows up, it is time to be active. Do not let your doubts deter you and keep you bound. This is a time to leap over challenges 
and to remember that from the top of the mountain there are no obstacles, only beauty and an unobstructed view of the entire uh, world, earth. And there is no need to go shopping for the right hiking boots or camping equipment to climb the holy mountain. You already have all the gear you need. So overcome any lethargy and laziness as these are the real obstacles. So, Aries, that was your reading. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a wonderful week ahead. Take care. Thanks for listening and goodbye.